everyone, it's me Cheryl. I hope you're all okay. Well, it's a miserable, rainy Wednesday afternoon. No, it's not, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Why did I think it was Wednesday? It's because I've got a lot to do in such a short space of time. And my days are just getting mixed up. Anyway, I'm leaving that door open over there. That way. In case my younger son decides to prank me. Just gone and done the same to him. Um, I tried with this, but um, he spotted me, so I took it downstairs, and it was still recording. And I put it on the kitchen counter, and um, I was planning on doing another one in another way, and I can't remember how it was. Oh, I was waiting for him to come down and go into the room, <laughs> and uh, he kept coming to the top of the stairs. You've been creeping up the stairs. I went. I haven't and I promise you I haven't because it's all there I'm being recorded but I didn't tell him that first anyway I did actually prank him and it was on my phone so whether he'll let me show you it I don't know anyway so good news I have finished something and it's the lion brand charlotte what was it called south bay charlotte I kept getting it mixed up last time so here it is, all done, it's all in all its glory, and it's beautiful. I did add two extra rows before I did the trim, um, and there's a little wave to the trim, I think. So you can focus in on one little bit. There. Can you see a little wave to it? Yeah. And the top edge was worked across as well. So. I need to photograph this as well as wash it, um, but I will photograph it on top heavy. But I finished this, um, was it yesterday? No, it wasn't yesterday. I did make a note of when I finished it, but I just need to take photos. And I started on a, a little quick project, which is proving more challenging than I, um, I thought it would be. And it's called the Crochet Garcia, which apparently it's a crocheted version of Cherry Garcia, which is a knitted a cowl, a cable cowl. And this is the crochet one. And it's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, and I've never done cable crochets before. And I have to say, it's rock hard. Um, I found cable knitting is much easier. This is what I've got so far. I'm on round five after um, reading the comments and somebody figured out how to do actually round five, which was round four, after round four, which was the actual first cable row, and that was hard. It was all right when you had to cross it over in front, but when you had to cross it over behind, that was the worst. I ended up using stitch markers. And oh, this is it so far. And I'll tell you what I'm not liking about it. It might look all right where it is, but um, where am I? Let's just find one. Any one will do. There. It's like when I try to, I don't know if you should snug up the stitches, whether that'll make it pucker, or whether you have to just work in a more relaxed fashion. But I'm finding that even when I'm trying to snug up the stitches, you get a long loop like that. It's... Um, not very good. It's, it, it feels too long and gappy between the actual cables. So I'm seeing gaps there and I'm not liking that bit. And I don't know if it's just me, if I should be pulling it tighter or if I should just be relaxing with it. Um, another shawl I want to try, and I really believe I can do it. I have no idea what it's called. Um, it's not a shawl actually, it's like a shoulder, shoulder like a cape. Um, I th saw it through Pinterest and when I clicked on the link it took me to a French blog. Um, but the pattern itself, I think it was scanned and uploaded, it's a Japanese pattern and it's a chart and there's some Japanese and I have actually zoomed in as far as I could on the computer and counted the stitches around the neck. Um, there's 60, sorry, 76 in total, but three of those are the turning chain. I really believe I can do that. And I did have a little practice on some just ordinary yarn. It looks all right. 
Um, I only did a few stitches and I've gone up a couple of those, so it looks absolutely gorgeous. Can you see the picture there of where it's supposed to be? Um, and it, the thing is, I don't know what size hook. So I tried four ply yarn, three millimetre hook. It's, well, it's a bit tight on me, but my neck might be fatter than other people's. But, you know, rather too loose and too tight, I think. You don't want to be like, <laughs> do you? Um, so I tried a three and a half millimetre hook with a flop four ply yarn. Four ply, like baby. Um, and that was just snug. So maybe it'd be four millimetre or even the DK. So it's just a case, once I've practised, oh sorry, once I've sized it correctly around here, because I have to, if I have to adjust it in any way other than a hook, I'm going to have to do some calculations of how many stitches I could basically sh shave off, I mean increase. So I'll take another look at that, but when I do it for real, I want to do it in a yarn that I can actually frog if need be. Um, and I've also got to think about what I'm going to crochet. I'm going on a little trip on Thursday, Thursday to Sunday, um, up north to see my parents. Um, so I want a project for the train. That's why I was asking you those questions, Zoe, <laughs> about the train. Um, but I don't want to start a brand new project if I've never even practiced it a little bit first. I don't want to do infrogable non-froggable yarn so I want to do I suppose we do a familiar pattern and then at least it's not too bad then I don't have to worry about going wrong or anything so anyway that's what I'm thinking of I think I'll do one of two things either a, another road trip scarf but in a slightly different yarn which I have intended for it anyway uh, or what's it called I've done it. I've done it recently. It was orange, but I increased it too much, so I ran out of yarn to actually decrease all the way. Um, might try that in the green. What well, do fewer increases? Maybe about two rows, and then that should be it. Should be okay, I think. But yeah, I could do that because I'm familiar with it now. I'll think about it. Um, I've got the audio, an audio book sorted for the journey after having finished the one at library. That one that gone from the library, one I've just was listened to, it's called Night Waking. And I forgot who wrote it. But it was like, at first I was thinking, this is weird. And I think it's because the, the lady who narrated it, she was speaking in a very wistful voice. And I couldn't get a grip of a voice, if you know what I mean. But um, I would just run through it and, and end up being an okay story, except it just ended rather abruptly. I thought, is that it? I thought, it's going to be a little bit more than that. Yeah, I could have done with it listening to a bit more in the end. Um, so, anyway, I've got an audiobook too, really sorted for my journey. Not that I'll be able to listen to two in that time. Before I go, I don't think I'll do this on the train, but I'll plod on with this and see how we go. It's not a very long project, but it might turn out okay, it might look okay in the end, I just don't know what it's like now. Okay, I will wrap this up now. Uh, have a good week everyone, and a good weekend, and maybe I will see you next week. Take care, bye bye.